Um, Kate here from New Line. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about opening your video conference solutions from your larger New Line panels, especially when you have additional devices and accessories connected. How do you navigate to choose your cameras and speakers and mics that you want that are set up for your space, your conference room, your campus, your you know classroom, whatever it may be? So I'm so glad you asked. Let's go ahead and dive into that. So I am looking on uh, just the home screen of our Z series panel is what I happen to be on. Uh, of course, you have the option you can go into your built-in OPS computer, and you may also see this if you're running a Q series, you may have the optional built-in Windows computer. I'm actually going to go in from a connected laptop, so a hardwired laptop. I get uh, I'll say quite a few questions when folks are hardwiring in their own devices, so I want to just dive in right there. So you can see I do have a wire kind of popping up from my side connections. This is my USB-C. Um, I've chosen to use that to connect my laptop. Of course, you can go um, in our other video series about getting connected different ways. So I'm going to pop into my laptop just by clicking my USB-C connection. Uh, you may look and be like, oh, we have Chromebook, yes. Um, I have a Chromebook connected. If you had a Windows computer or a Mac computer, of course, it's going to look the same. Uh, and again, we're going to be working from our web platforms or different things to get connected for video conferencing. So this one we're going to run is a Google Meet. So on my Chromebook, I can go ahead and just click the Google Meet button. Uh, but if I was running any of the other computers, of course, I could go in from my Chrome browser and it is going to be the exact same experience. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Google Meet. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a new meeting. We're just going to kind of keep it relatively generic. So I'm going to start an instant meeting here. And you'll see that everything is going to load, which is fantastic. And there we go. So you may see my head just a little bit uh, bobbing in over there. And what that is, is right now, my camera setting is actually set up to be my laptop. So I'm probably gonna wanna change that up. All I need to do anytime I see three dots or three lines, uh, I think Goldilocks and the three bears, I can go ahead and change that. So I'm gonna go in and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch my camera and it automatically recognizes what is connected, which is sensational. So it takes a lot of guesswork out of it. And you can go in, you can see the back of my head there. Uh, you can switch between different things. And of course, as I click, my three dot menu. I have lots of different options in here. Again, if I want to do any sort of visual effects, if you have troubleshooting and help, a lot of these systems do have built in assistance for you, which is fantastic. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, going in through a Google Meet, very simple three dot menu. All I had to do is switch my camera as the system can automatically recognize things that are connected and hardwired in. So I have a webcam that I just clicked in. So if you want to know where it's connected, there are some additional USB ports underneath. I just plugged it in one of my general public USB ports. But if I was rocking our mod cam or our mod cam plus up there, which are both just sensational options, um, then I would be able to automatically just switch over to one of those. So excellent questions. Please feel free to reach out with anything that you need. We are here to support you for the life of your products and we'll talk again soon.